You know, for as long as I've been in the commentary community, one thing I've grown to heavily dislike are bandwagons. Well, let me rephrase this. I don't dislike bandwagons as a whole, but I dislike the possibility of something that can happen during them. And if we can all agree on something, we can all agree that one of the CC's bandwagons for this year has definitely got to be Kanye Muller. Like, what, we've had eight, even possibly more commentaries than the guy in this single year alone? It gets to a point where I have to say, guys, Come on, give him a break. And while Kung has actually stopped doing videos in the CC, there is the fact that there's been a lot of bad commentaries on him lately. There was Clowns, which I covered, Michael Schomer's, which just wasn't good in general, and the one I'll be covering today, Evil Necrosphere's commentary on Kung. Or she used to go by Phoenix of Nephritus. And you might remember a previous commentary on me, my second commentary on Kung, when he covered Digital Tie? Yeah, that's the video she covered, and she did a rather poor job of it, and that's putting it lightly. Now, without ado, let's begin. <laughs> Okay, so before this video begins, I just want to give some context real quick. So, Kungi Muller is making a video on Digital Tie. God, I have to cover Kung. I never thought I'd do it, eh? But I guess I don't have much choice. I have so many complaints with this intro that it actually isn't funny. First off, Neff, this is a problem that I've always had for your content that I've seen little to no improvement with. You legitimately suck at emoting. Like, if I were to make a comparison, i call you Diet Sean S. Anyways, we are going to skip the most of the rest of his video. And honest to goodness, this hurts more than you would believe because acting is crucial for commentary. When you're trying to pull off jokes in particular, as if the acting is flat, boring, or unemotional, people will think you're dead serious. It's especially bad considering the last line of yours. Can I even call it an introduction? So you're apparently being forced to do this commentary? Are you being held captive? Are you under mind control? Did Kainu get the wit? Like, I get this could possibly be a joke, but again, it ties back to the issue of something dead inside. Also, what? No context? Who is this Kung? Who is this digital tie? Seriously, you jump into the video without any context whatsoever. Like, I would know who both of these individuals are concerned both of them an influence in the community in some way, with Kung becoming the punching bag from newer commentators this year, and digital tie being a commentator who's been in the business for about two years now, but anybody else unfamiliar with the community wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, where do I begin with this one? This intro! This intro is utter garbage, pure and simple. First off, congrats, you have somehow managed to make so many issues I may just cause a mask waiting to happen. First off, your characters. So, is what the commentary be using this character from Beyblade as your commentary avatar of choice? Yet, starting off the video, always use the snake Beyblade that said character uses. Then again, Snake might be kind of fitting considering what you pull later on, but hecking heck this is misleading. But that's not even all, even then you still remain inconsistent. Because as soon as the intro comes to a close, your avatar instantly switches over to Mars Shadow for literally no reason at all. Seriously, how do you do that? Now, I would like to look just a possibility why Mars Shadow was there. That being the possibility that Mars Shadow is the avatar that Neff plans to use the most for a commentating career, so she shows it at the end and symbolizes her. Now, fine, that could work, keyword being could, yet considering the opacity of the image hasn't been changed at all, as well as the fact that it's the only avatar we'll be seeing, this fails as an intro card. Even then, the issues don't even stop because there's still a general lack of thinking whatsoever in this intro card, which results in this having as much flow as... something, I don't know, I couldn't think of a clever comparison. TLDR, I have otherwise blast these intro for the CanCom over this tribe. From the YouTube Dojo, this is week of the early viewer, and now, a man who won't go all over the YouTube map just because he wants to stick to just one format. Kung, that's fucking brilliant coming from you of all people. You are the one who will never change their style because they think their fans will get mad. Oh right, because we can totally believe that scene with the lack of any proof he showed us at all. 
And even if you did, this honestly is just nothing more than pointless in the long run as you're not contributing to anything here. Putting out to the side for a second? Why are you printing out your picture and then putting it onto a whiteboard instead of just getting a damn editor? Stop talking. Neff, no. You're implying that Kung doesn't have an editor, period. Only, yes, he actually does, and it's made so gosh darn obvious throughout the video. Think of all of the times that Kung ends up making jump cuts throughout his videos. The video you're covering being an example. Heck, I would know. I covered it. Like you said before, no walls will go kapooey! Yes, indeed! And now, ladies and gentlemen... Then again, nobody would really notice that, considering you didn't leave the link to the original video in the description. Probably because, well, I'll get back to that later, too. But, yeah, with all the jump cuts into about Kung's video, it's shown that he's at least editing it. Editing it poorly, sure, but still editing it. This would be so much easier, and it would objectively look better than just a printed picture on a whiteboard you're holding up. You're a glutton for punishment, aren't you, Neff? Seriously? Objectively better? Objectively? Like, if I was to make something on my computer, but it looked absolutely awful. There was no theme whatsoever. The font choice was cursive or something of the sort where people wouldn't be able to read it well. Oh, what if I was to say, make every single letter a different color to the point where looking at it as a visual eyesore? Would that still make it objectively better because it came from an editing software? Quick answer, no. No, it wouldn't. My point I'm trying to get across here is no, you're mistaking objectivity for subjectivity, you freaking baka. Even then, you were trying to actually give Kung some critique on how to improve, huh? Okay then, tell me, what editing software can get Kung the outcome that he so desires? Sony Vegas? Videopad? If you're going to give criticism of in production, at least give them actually descriptive ways that they can improve their craft. Otherwise, your criticism is just like how your white avatar picks clash badly with the background. Messy. Digital Ty needs some help. He's making rude comments. How rude can they be? Yeah, so? Just because they're rude doesn't make them invalid. Okay, hmm. Neff, tell me, are you off to see the wizard because that's a mighty fine straw man you got with you? Kung never in this portion of the video said that his rude comments were making whatever Ty said invalid. He was simply addressing him making those comments as a whole. In other words, you've contributed nothing to the topic at hand. Kindly pay attention. Don't think twice, I know all of your dirty secrets. So don't try shit, or I'll end your fucking life. You might have some good points, but his jokes suck. Kong, this is supposed to be an objective video. I trusted you, man. What the fuck? You know, Neff, this would have actually been a somewhat decent point. Had Kung said anywhere in the video ahead of time that this video was meant to be objective. The funny thing is, you started the beginning of this video, and whoops, no mention of objectivity there. Or there. Or there. You know the absolutely best thing about this? Hey, you have no proof of this, so I can write it off as a lie. <laughs> Prepare for trouble, make it double, standards, I swear, if this becomes a lineage that people steal from me, I am going to make them pay royalties. Don't think twice, I know all of your dirty secrets, so don't try shit, or I'll end your fucking life. Number six, he takes a lot of time off. Yeah, because it's not like digitalized videos take a shit ton of time to make, considering a lot of them are co-ops, or have at least a couple cameos, but no, he totally takes time off. Which we show without showing any evidence to back that claim off. Whee! And in case you're referring to him leaving, that's sort of a dick move. Because Ty left because of his reputation of himself and what he felt about himself. It had nothing to do with him being lazy. One, no evidence again. Two, you're bringing up evidence that's outdated, Neff. Ty's whole entire thing with quoting the commentary community. Yeah, that happened months later after this video was released. In other words, Kung would have not had any idea of this event occurring because it hadn't freaking happened yet. Number five, he's doing so many things on his channel. Stop, man, get some help. Um, what the fuck? This has to be the dumbest point I've heard in my entire life. How can someone like Digital Ty, who you just said takes breaks, by the way, be uploading a lot on their channel and have that be a problem exactly? You don't elaborate, and saying get some help just make you come off as a huge asshole. You missed the point again. Kung's point wasn't getting on Kai's case for making too many videos, though I'll grant you that his wording could have been a lot, lot, lot better, but the general case was that digital type was being too diverse with the content that he's throwing out. To back this up, pay attention to Kung's wording so I would actually. 
He defined it as Ty doing too many things, not too many videos. Had Kung said the latter, then sure, you would have actually had a decent point. But as is, you're currently flopping like a magic cop to find something to actually debunk. Number four. His profile picture is a guy who pretty much has no life. Two things. One, Kung, don't assume. That makes an ass out of you and me. And secondly, how does this make him wrong in any capacity? Please explain. You don't. Assuming that's an ass out of you and me, missing the point this bad makes me actually want to cry. Seriously? How? How did you mess this up? First off, Kung never said that Tai had no life. It's not even implied by his wording this time. He straight up says that it looks like a guy that has no life. Looks. Second, he was never trying to prove Tai is being incorrect. What Kung has been trying to do in this video is prove Digital Tai out as being a wrong person. Number three, he tried to do a couple of live streams not too long ago, but they weren't popular. And this is a reason why Ty is a bad content creator slash person, why? Finally, a decent point! Holly! And interrupting this point for a Jonah post point. Because, oof, there's something here I actually noticed while editing. So Nev, last interjection, you flat out know from this statement alone apparently, that Kung is trying to make Ty look like a bad person, and yet you still let that point from previously slip by. How do you function? Number two. He only has about 2,000 subscribers. Kung, shut the fuck up. You're speaking out of your ass. Sub count has nothing to do with quality. What's the point in even bringing it up at this point? Screw ya. Oh no, 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 no. Meph, this isn't about Ty's quality as a content creator. It's about how he's bad as a person. Everything's been shown so far is proof of that. If I ever hear anything among these lines again, I swear I will. Number one, he's already thinking about doing a video about my show. Please, help me, please. Now. Kung, Ty can make a video on you if he damn well wants to. And just because it's a video on you, doesn't indict on the quality in any way. Drop your cookie and lemonade. Ah, uh, here we are at last. Final thoughts. Kung. I have so much to say here that I wish I could say, but I know for a fact you wouldn't take the criticism. Hey, remember when you got on your moral high ground earlier? Yeah, you fucked it up. You ended up attacking Ty more than he attacked anyone, because he was joking and you were being serious. You called him lazy and said he needs mental health. But that was a joke. The delivery was complete or shit to the point where I couldn't tell- You're seriously making this too easy for me right now. Anyways, I'm ending this video here because I really have nothing more I can say. My gosh, this video was actually genuinely infuriating to watch. You know, I named this video Kung 2 Electric Boogaloo appropriately, because my final thoughts for that video echo my thoughts for this one pretty well. You know, I'm planning on making a video about myself in the bandwagon effect, and you're a prime example of it. Just like Clown. Especially since the time that this video was released, Kung was already becoming the CC's punching bag. This video screams nothing more than a kid commentator thinking just because they're covering an easy topic the big kids covered before, there has to be no effort whatsoever put into the video. So many problems. So little time. Your delivery was garbage to the point where I can actually see you sound dead inside. Your points either missed the point of what Kung was trying to say or was just pointless whatsoever. Or I may not have mentioned it in the video, by gosh, you came off with such a condescending jerk, especially with those final thoughts. Honestly, I'm happy Kung decided to stop making videos on commentators afterwards. Because maybe now we're gonna have people who actually stop trying to put down Kung simply for the fact that he's Kung Yi Muller. TLDR, this may be one of the worst videos I've covered. Kindly never make these mistakes again. Now if you excuse me. Hello <laughs> 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 again, my old friend.